Hi everyone, I'm Trevor with North Valley Search and Rescue. Today we're going to explore another video in our Rope Rescue series. As always, this video is for use in conjunction with professional training for North Valley Search and Rescue within the scope of our SOPs utilizing our equipment. This video is not a comprehensive training package, but rather a small component of training and should be used under the guidance of a qualified professional trainer. There are many methodologies and avenues to achieve a desired outcome, but paired or performed incorrectly can result in injury or death. All ratings discussed are with new, fully rated equipment under perfect conditions, which never happens. Used equipment, time, UV exposure, use, application, or any other condition or alteration will change the load capacity. All ratings discussed are approximations and are simplified for your basic understanding purposes only, not to calculate the actual loads or forces. We are glad that you're here with us today and for a quick reference back to this video and others of ours, please click on the red subscribe button below or just below that, the add to button and create your own playlist. Might I suggest naming one SAR. So let's kick into today's video. We're inside of the Suburban and this is where you're going to find the shotgun and the bag with the rope as well as the shells. On the back of the Suburban, you can access the shotgun up here. There is a flip lever that holds the gun in place and you can pull it out. Just remember, whenever you're handling the gun, make sure that you're pointing it in a safe direction at all times and anticipate that it's loaded. Off to this side, at least right now, is where the black bag lives, which contains the rope and the ammo. When you pull out the black bag, go ahead and open the bag and inside will be a red bag that is full of the line that we're going to shoot. On the end of the line, you'll see that there is a plug. It's a copper plug that's hooked up to cord that's connected to the line. We're gonna pull this whole bag out, make sure it's open. And inside of the bag is also a box with shells in them. The shells are blanks that uh, just have some gunpowder in them and are loaded, ready to go. Um, so here are the steps that we're gonna use to go ahead and load the shotgun. Here we have Charles. Charles is gonna help us out with this demonstration. We have the rope set up. You'll notice that the rope is set to face forward in the direction that we're going to shoot and it is completely open, ready to go. Um, Charles is going to go ahead and take some ear protection and slide ear protection into his ear. He also has eye protection on already. We're going to make sure that the gun, which we always act as if it is a loaded gun, so we don't point at anyone or anything that we're not uh, willing to shoot. And we want to make sure that the hammer is not cocked and we're going to open the breech action with the far lever. Once it's open, we can go ahead and slide a blank shell in. There's the blank shell, it's going on in and he's gonna go ahead and close the action there. At this point, he's going to grab that copper plug and he's going to slide it in the end of the barrel and we need to make sure that it has contact with the slug blank. So he can go ahead and aim this at an approximate 45 degree angle and when he is ready to shoot he can go ahead and pull the hammer back and aim and fire. This shoots approximately 200 feet. You can't get any more out of it. So beware that when you are about ready to shoot across a river, that is not further than 200 feet, or else you're gonna be retrieving a lot of rope. We hope this video was helpful in understanding this component of our rope rescue system. Thank you all for watching the video. Remember to subscribe below to have quick and easy access to all of our videos. We look forward to seeing you in class and out in the field.